Well, it's time once again for us to hunt down Harris. Which could only mean one thing. We're back to the world of uh, Warhammer 40k, checking out the latest release. Chaos Gate, Demon Hunters. Now, this one is going to be all from the perspective of the Great Knights. Many would say the last and final defense for humanity against said heresy. The last and final defense against, uh, you know, the collection of blood for a certain blood god. Certain skulls for a skull throne. You know how the thing goes at this point. That said, gameplay-wise, we're talking about, um, you know what? This is actually very similar to an XCOM game. Modern XCOM games, I would say. As a matter of fact, if you're looking to maybe scratch a bit more of that XCOM itch, and you're looking to also dabble in the world of Warhammer 40k, Chaos Gate might definitely do it for you. Of the God Emperor. Dominus, who is this interloper? Code scrapings indicate an inquisitorial transmission. Baleful Edict, prepare for my arrival. Duty calls, Commander. We should open a Vox Link. Inquisitorial vessel, permission granted to come aboard. Emperor, I found you. I must commandeer this vessel at once. Impossible. We are bound for Titan. The Edict cries out for repair. The Tech Priest speaks the truth, Inquisitor. Our last crusade bled us dry. I'm not blind, Knight. But heresy does not operate at our convenience. My destination is Koromar Prime, within this very system. Not such a taxing journey. I'd expect. And what is it that you hope to find there? This. Beneath rotting skies, the air thickens with a world's final breath. Seeds planted in flesh and bone, watered with blood and tears. A warrior alone in the garden of a grinning god. These are scraps of astropathic whimsy. There's more. It grows, it spreads, a great dispersal upon the etheric wind, the bloom proliferating. First, then Koromar, then world after world, its roots spread from an ancient veil. Inquisitor, hear me, hear me, hear me! Who tends? The garden. All right, so we're good to go here. Um, I gotta be honest with you. Um, cutscene wise, pretty good. Sometimes all uh, these Warhammer games cutscenes a little bit on the jank side. That was actually pretty good. Uh, let's see here. So Sobo Karamar Bloom Corruption Level Zero. We'll talk about this here soon enough. Uh, we have an ill omen apparently. Kill all enemies is gonna be our first mission. Commander, have your men look for signs of this plague. Be vigilant, brothers. Okay. Let's see about this plague. Kill all enemies, same thing, really, right? Now, this here is what I mentioned outside. The bloom thing, right? We'll talk about this when it actually happens, although you probably... You might want to cheat and pause and read ahead. But don't do that. Wait for me to explain it to you, okay? There's, there's no rush. So, we got our boys over here. It's gonna work out like XCOM. I'm gonna make sure we don't necessarily proc too many groups at once, because then we'll get overwhelmed. Pinsert attack, it's no good. We got our fog of war to deal with, half guard, full cover, etc., etc. Reloading our ammo, yada yada yada. Now, let's start off here with Ulrich. Let's move him down to this will be two AP. We do get three AP per turn, which is the good thing. I think we might be able to increase that once we level up, but one step at a time, right? Let's move ourselves all the way down here to half cover. Let's play it a little bit. Taking position. Play it a bit brazen, I would say. Comes off. Ready for battle. 
And playing it brazen is apparently giving us um, a little bit of intel that we might have some enemies over there. Good to know. Voldred, 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 I guess you'll probably yes, take sir. care of our healer. That's going to be it for us here this turn. Hmm. Okay. That's one of the things I mentioned. Uh, don't get don't get pincered attack. So, um, luckily those dudes are down there. They're going to be able to jump this gorge, I would imagine. So they have to come up through here. So yeah, we're fine. So we'll deal with this first and then that over there. Now, this went up by 15%. Now let's take a look at this here. The warp surge meter increases each turn based on the planet's corruption level. Whenever you expand willpower, which is going to be how we use our psychic abilities and healing and stuff like that. Once the meter reaches 100%, it will trigger a warp surge with unpredictable consequences. So, there's a little bit like, you know, you could take it slow and stuff like that, right? But um, if you take it too slow, this might proc and you never know the type of consequence this will bring to the battlefield. So, I do like that, you know? Otherwise, you'll be turtling up here forever. Let's you play a little bit more aggressive, I imagine. Nice! We got some regular grunts here. I imagine that would probably happen if we move a bit forward. Oh, setting up an Overwatch. I mean, see, the reason I wouldn't want AP was because I wanted to go there and set up my Overwatch myself. But he actually blue balled. Or I guess, no, he didn't really blue ball me. He cock blocked me. It's the opposite. At once. Oh. No, no, no. You stay over there. This is not the time for everybody to gang up on me in the first mission, right? Now then. We're safe. I want this out of the way, so let's just toss that. Now we could have probably also done a uh, Overwatch of our own, but ooh! And they just realized the reason why they died. Oh my god, they got shish kebab here. Uh, there was a ammunitions crate right there. So if they were to throw an explosive towards my place here, I would also go boom. I was not aware of that, and I like it. And it makes sense, too. I like it. All right, well, two boys down and one grenade. I will take it, because they were actually going to survive that one. All right, and you still have an AP? Oh, perfect. So you know what? If these boys... Oh, no. No Overwatch. Well, we got a little bit here. I mean, you might as well do it, right? It's the first mission, so I don't really got to worry too much about, you know, avoiding damage early on. Uh, we'll, over we'll also Overwatch this way as well. Now, of course, this probably works a bit better, as you can probably imagine, with more melee enemies. Uh, these guys do have range, so they might not decide to move and just basically pop me from there. We'll see. On my way. Okay. So I'm committing to this, you know? I could just play it a bit more safer and just wait for them to move forward and then, like, you know, not take any damage, but whatever. I want to see if... Hmm. I don't think we got a shot for yeah. him, but I'll move there regardless. And let's see. No. No shot. We'll just end the turn that way. Let's not get too cute. So he moved. He bladded. Oh, look at this dude. He went around the Overwatch. What an absolute scum. Got a pretty weird Overwatch of his own, though. I got to tell you, pretty weird Overwatch of his own. Yes, Commander. All right, Volger, how do you feel about a little dash and run over there? Got a little bit of defense on him, which is going to make him survive. But if we were to possibly get a crit, no crit. Wounded. Now you have a couple of shots here, and we'll take all of them. Also, do we need Cybolt for this one? I mean, if we do Cybolt and then follow up one a shot, I think it should be enough. And just a regular one. Oh, oh, that's sexy. Alright, and that is that first group right there. Wrong, 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 wrong! I guess we'll move you up to here. And that should do it for this guy. Did you momentarily forget about this guy? Uh, you know, I I plead the fifth one now. <laughs> you don't know what I did. You don't know what I forgot. It's all good, man, right? The thing is, we, we got no damage to our name and we're moving to the next squad. That's the important part to remember right now. Not whether I forgot that there was a dude alive there still. As you will. 
I sensed them near. There we go. So I'm not sure that's a different group altogether, or just the ones that were here originally. Because, as you can see, now we got some light over here, we got some eyes, but nobody here. So it's a possibility. They like to patrol. They don't just stick around in one spot like a lot of the groups tend to do in XCOM. At least early on, we're just kind of sticking in one group. Here, they actually do patrol, so... It does seem they're going down that direction over there, which is perfect, because we're not going to get, um... Surprise attack by them, at least. But... Getting us prepared, and maybe with some overwatches, could be good. My blade is ever ready. Here's your last move, huh? Praise the well, Emperor. I guess I'm just chill here. I'm gonna chill here. There they go. Oh, lovely characters. Wait, that creature. Inquisitor, we have seen the dead walk in this way before. As have I. Hawkswalkers are evidence of warp corruption. This is no natural plague. Is that so? Well, luckily they're all up there, so we might be able to pop them before they even come down. They got no um, ranged weapons, it's all melee on them, right? Let's see here. Your movement range, you got no defenses, movement range is going to be 5 per single action point. It seems we're golden. They could actually come up face to face with us, perhaps, but they shouldn't be able to get to us and attack at the same time. Therefore, if they're going to be coming down towards us, that means that we, you know, we need to set up every overwatch imaginable. Now, if we moved here, I think then he could reach us. At least one or two of them. But um, it would be an even better overwatch for us if we did that. Because then I could move you up here. Because moving up here would be only one AP. Yeah, yeah, and I can do two overwatches. Okay. Affirmative. You don't have to reload either, my dude. No. Okay, so you're fine. Yes. And again... Both of you will be in a situation where you could get attacked. That's to give the other guys a couple of overwatches as well. So, position secured, Commander. One AP, perfect. And tell me it's one AP. It's oh, two AP. Oh, just outside of the range. Well, let's be honest here. Those guys can't reach us anyway, so keeping them out in the open is not really like a, a big major concern. To examine this corpse and I will not tolerate this contamination spreading to my servitors. Do not obstruct me, tech priest. I will follow proper protocols. A satisfactory effort. Now return with my carcass so I can set to work. We will deliver them to you as soon as containment is properly confirmed and sanctified. Be swift about it. If this plague has already spread beyond this planet, then we will have far more ground to cover. Was that a perfect Overwatch, you're asking? Um, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Man, I think we even had the blast too, didn't even proc there, so... Again, had they actually even gotten through the first wave, I was hoping the second wave for the uh, attack possibility in the first two guys would have um, done them in, but... That was perfect. Uh, let's see here. Star map is to proceed forward, but... Some of you guys might have things to say after we've done this, right? So, Ekta, what do you got? Do you seek wisdom, Commander? I am no ancient, but might be of some help. She already makes demands on a ship badly in need of restitution. So we are honor bound to. Even we must respect the authority of the Inquisition when the situation demands it. Uh, let's go off to the barracks and talk to our tech priest really quickly. Protocol demands a preliminary salutation. Consider this requirement fulfilled. Greetings to you two. We must activate quarantine protocols with the Poxwalker specimen. I will not have the edict put at risk, even for an Inquisitor. This is an ordinary corruption. The ship will remain sterile. Okay. Will it hold up until we are done in a sector, though? The Baleful Edict has never let any of the Brotherhoods that have traveled in her down. And what about a girl here, huh? We both have work to do. What do you need? This one appears to be some kind of host. An object is nestled within. Hmm. Well, good thing we're doing it in a cops again. Is that unusual? It is different from what I've seen with these puppets in the past. 
This is undoubtedly the work of one of the Plague God's minions, but its uh, vector is unusual. I will let you know once I have completed my findings. Well, we got an entire month to wait for that, so... Let's go out and... We might not have time for an entire full mission, but at least let's go out there and proc something from happening. Now let's get this plasma reactor fixed here first, which should be coming up now. I think this is needed for us to progress anyway. The Dominus has restored the star map to its full function. We are receiving a barrage of scanning data and astropathic scrapings from across the sector. This plague appears to have already spread its tendrils far and wide. We are faced with reports of two infected systems. We should monitor this infestation carefully and judge where best to direct our forces while the Inquisitor pursues her answers. Failure will cost many souls. Okay, now that did give us the entire map now to actually progress, move around, do some missions meanwhile we wait for certain things to get done. So, start a new project. Ship status. Hmm, okay. So improve reactor output one. Additional projects unlocked. Ah, uh, it's gonna be 12 servitors for 12 days. I mean, let's make that happen. And let's go off to the map now. And we might not have time to do an entire mission, but at least we'll peek into one. That one's got an interesting little green glow to it, huh? Kind of want to head there, although there's another one back there behind us, too. Let's move here. Let's see if there's anything over there. Otherwise, that little green aura seemed intriguing. Could be the pox related stuff. Okay, Echoes of the Contagion, danger level is going to be low on this one. We do have some chaos detected, so two enemy reinforcements are going to be available for this one as well. So once the initial is cleared up, two extra little wave groups will show up. That's fine. Let's go with our boys here. Again, Ulrich is going to have a little bit of uh, HP deficiency for this one, so probably played a little less brazen than last time, at least for the start. So with Ulrich a little bit on the down and outs, so let's have um, Voldred be our main pusher here for now. 2 AP, half cover. Let's switch you into half cover here. Steady and surely we hunt them. Covering the gates. So that should be this first group right there, unless, unless something is over here, but kind of doubtful. I'm saying this is going to probably be the first one. Plenty of places for them to actually hide as well. Advancing. That should be able to give us eyes and what's happening, yes. Knights of the throne. All range boys too, huh? It's gonna be a bit annoying. Oh, you're setting up the overwatches, huh? You must have seen my last mission. Oh, I worked out so good for Falcon. We'll try it ourselves. Prepare to engage! Hunkering down, huh? Alright. So an Overwatch, a hunker down, and then three boys just kind of out in the open. Oh, we got another hunker down there as well, it does seem. Interesting. This, however, seems to be something we can probably explode. For a little bit of damage on these boys here. So a nice little grenade over there. And two of them should be done. Denounce. Now, am I right about this explosion again? No, it set the ground ablaze, though, so if they run through there, they'll take damage. But it wasn't the explosion I was hoping for, like, with the crate thing. That's a shame. Well, at least they're further back. Moving now. I'll take this situation here first. No shot on you. Got a shot on you. So instead... Psychic Onslaught would be enough for the kill. Ooh. And apparently to the boy next to him, something. Shoot a target at range 10 to deal 5 damage to Blast Area to uh, Blast Area 2 to deal 4 damage. Hmm. Well, that guy's hunkered down. It won't kill him, but it'll just do some damage. Of course, it'll raise the bloom, but that's fine. Do it. Okay. 
How's it hunkering down working for you now? Not too good. So this is going to be a ballsy move, and it's only going to be based on me trying to test the theory out. But in the tutorial, they taught me something about using um, big statues like this for environmental damage, which I believe means I could try to shoot this if I'm correct, right? And then maybe that'll fall over and tip over and kill some dudes. I think that's how that works. So if that's really the case, what is your will? Darig, do you have a shot? On this. Oh, you don't. Oh, you do. You do. You do. So check. We could actually kill this dude here, I believe. <laughs> and had I remembered about that beforehand, we probably could have taken him out without using that, you know, psychic onslaught that we used. And yeah, but I've completely forgot that they did teach me that in the tutorial over there. As I mentioned, it was like a two-day-long tutorial. So you forget these things. What can I say? It will be done. And we'll set up a little juicy overwatch through. For some reason, that guy was low in there momentarily from that one. I'll play it safer with him and just do an overwatch through there. See what happens. I doubt they'll move through him, but you never know. Oh! Shot him in the ass. Got a spin, huh? Reloading. <laughs> the bird actually did help us out in the long run. <laughs> That's awesome. None may stay all wrath. Oof. My boy taking that burn damage right there. So he's gonna do it with Voltred. Let's see about using this teleportation skill. It's gonna be one action point. But it could put me right next to this dude. You then take that ass out with a melee attack. With alacrity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We still got two AP. So now what we do is take him out. For the golden throne. And take him out. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. And what's left? Some burning scumbag, and then this guy over here. None of them's got any um, overwatches on us, so now we can just play aggressive, take him down. It's essentially game set and match here. We also heal ourselves if we want to, but it's all good. Unleashing Let's it. see about Ulrich. Let's take us out here, Ulrich. I've been holding you back because of your injuries, but not anymore. I am the Emperor's Fury. That being said, we've gone long enough here with this one. Hopefully you have enjoyed. As I mentioned, this is going to be XCOM just in the Warhammer universe. If you enjoy both of those things, there's absolutely no reason why you should not enjoy this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.